structure. And that starts physically, physically optimizing the alignment of the body, the skeletal structure. And that's for optimizing the free flow of energy through the entire body as a whole. And just getting back good, healthy body posture. So structure is going to be a, a big grounding point for us. Ultimately, this all goes towards mind and energy. But we're always coming back to the body, the body's tissues, and the body's structure. So we're always recycling, recycling this and grounding it into reality, into a sense that there, that's why I use the word transformation quite strongly. One of the, I'll just touch upon this briefly because many of you have heard this before. One of the reasons why I needed, needed more than meditation, I, I started my whole journey when I was very, very young with meditation, even before martial arts, even before the body arts and love meditation and still do. What I found, and I certainly have seen this with many other people, if not most, that that can happen from here up. It becomes rather in, in, uh, ephemeral. And I found myself after a number of years of doing meditation, again, loving the process and enjoying the experiences uh, I was getting, but feeling frustrated that as soon as I left the meditation chair, I'd lose all that. In fact, as soon as I start moving, I'd lose all that. It's like it would just evaporate away. It would exist as this kind of a memory, like a dream. So what I appreciate by the technologies of the body arts, Tai Chi, Qi Kong, and so on, is they bring that, they anchor that into the tissues. So it's not just a understanding of something or a concept, it's a knowing. It's a feeling knowing, a feeling understanding. And that's what I mean by transformation. So not just a stratosphere up here that's getting things, but something that's pulled down, siphoned down, infiltrated, infiltrated into the whole system. So the start of that is having a proper vehicle that has to do with structure and opening up that structure so that these higher energies, mind, intellect, intention, awareness, inspiration has a vehicle into which they can enter, sit and stay and abide. But most people's bodies are not equipped, are not refined enough for that process, for those energies to come together. The body is too crude, too dense, too corpse-like is a term we use. We need to open the body, enliven the tissues. And so the body becomes closer to spirit and the spirit can enter more into the vessel. And then they can become closer to one and the same. But we have to start with hardcore physical reality, the body structure. 